What's going on YouTube? In this video I'm going to do a review on the 1500 watt hour Blue Eddy solar generator. Now I bought this just to do a review on it. This will work nice if my electricity goes out. I can hook this up to my pellet stove. I could hook this up to my freezer. I could even hook this up to my camper or I could hook this up to my refrigerator. I'm going to try to do a video on this later on just to see how long this will run my pellet stove for. I'm guessing it's probably going to run my pellet stove for about maybe about five hours with no solar panels hooked up to it. If I hook solar panels up to it, depending on if I have good sun or not, it might run it for eight hours or ten hours. Or if you would turn your pellet stove on just for a few hours and then shut it off, you might be able to go days with this to let it charge back up if you live somewhere you get real good sun all the time. Let me go over some of what we got on the front of this Blue Eddy and what's on the back of this Blue Eddy and some of the specs on this thing. Well first this is what this is what come in the box. It came with a warranty card, a really easy to read manual. It came with a wall charger. Some people will buy these things and not even get solar panels. They just charge them up from their wall and maybe take them in their boat or take them on their camper for a day trip or maybe even put it in a van or in your car if you stuck this in your trunk and plugged a, an extension cord to the, well the outlets are in the back, if you plug an extension cord to it you could stick that up inside your car and you'd have power for a whole day trip. And it came with this 8 millimeter plug with MC4 connectors on the end that will connect to solar panels. This is what most of the solar panels have on them, so it makes it really easy to connect to solar panels. I'll put down in the description the solar panels I bought for this, and I'll put this unit down in the description, along with another one that has, this one has the 1500 watt hour battery, there's another one that has a 2400 watt hour battery, which would last quite a bit longer than this one. And just check for coupons. I may have a coupon down below, and if I don't have a coupon down below, it seems like they definitely always have coupons right on Amazon. Alright, let me go over what's on the front of this. And then at the end of this here, toward the end, I'm going to plug this into my pellet stove and my freezer and a little electric heater just to show you that this thing will run different things. Alright, this is what we got on the front. We have the power button, which you'll hold to turn it on. You have a button to turn the DC power on, which would be all this stuff here on the front. You just hold that in, same thing. And you have a button to turn on AC. The AC power is on the back of this. I'll show you that here in a second. You'll do the same thing, just hold that button on to turn that on. All right, I had to get a piece of tape to put over those lights. Kind of was messing my camera up. All right, on the front we have this port right here is where you're gonna plug in your charger. So either you're gonna be charging it from the wall or you're going to char be charging it from your solar panels with these MC4 connectors. And, this eight and it's an 8 millimeter plug, like I said. Um, if you're using solar panels, the max you can put into this is 60 volts, 10 amps, 500 watts. So, later on, I'm going to make a video using four solar panels, because if I use plug in five of them, which I might try, but I'm afraid I'm going to go over the 60 volts. Oh, before I forget to say, plugging solar panels into it is what I would say the fastest way to charge this unit. If you have a good, clear, sunny day with four or five hundred watt solar panels, you should be able to charge this unit in three and a half to four hours. Now, if you plug in the, the wall charger, it could take up to nine to ten hours if this battery is completely dead. Now, like you can see, I got four USB plugs. There are three amps each, has one USB-C plug that is a 45 watt max, which like the new iPhones will be able to plug into that, and I think some of the Mac laptops will be able to plug into that. And then we have a 12 volt, what I would call a cigarette outlet, which from what I'm seeing, I don't have really too much that plugs into this, but the 12 volts on this is comes out to usually around 12.3 volts constant, and I'm guessing that is good for some things for that to be a constant 12.3 volts so it's not going up and down and up and down the body of this is aluminum body with the front and the back are plastic and it has a real nice sturdy carrying handle this whole unit weighs about 38 pounds 
There's the other side. And this is the back. This has your two 110 outlets. You can plug into 1000 watts into these outlets. Now it has a surge of 1200 watts. So if you plug something in there, it surges up a little bit and it comes back down at, to the 1000, under 1000, you'll be okay. Which I can plug quite a bit, of, quite a few things in there. I know I can plug my pellet stove, my freezer, and my fridge. So I'm gonna show you that, like I said, at the end of this video. All right, before I go plug this into some of my appliances around my house, let's go over a few more things. I've been re researching these for a couple years and I was looking into trying to build my own solar power generator. And then I, that's when I stumbled across all these little, small little generators that you can buy that are already made. And when I pieced together all the parts that I needed to buy to build one of these, the price came out to a lot more expensive than just buying one that was already done. Now I would have to say the only downside to that would be if you build your own, it would be a lot easier to fix something if it broke, but it costs quite a bit more money. The inverter on this is a 1000 watt inverter, a pure sine wave inverter, which means you can plug in sensitive, anything that has like any sensitive electronics in it, which some say, and if you agree with me, put that down in the comments that like my Harman pellet stove would have sensitive electronics in it. You don't want to plug that into any generator or you could mess up your control board on your Harman pellet stove. So I know this is going to run my pellet stove just fine. Or, I don't know, maybe a CPAP machine, if anybody knows if that would be something like that. But uh, it's definitely not going to hurt to plug a computer in this to charge it up. So that pure sine wave inverter is a good thing to have in this. Now it also has an MPP charge controller, which stands for Maximum Power Point Tracking. Now, for you that have no clue about solar generators, that's also another plus to this generator. So that means if you put solar panels out and it's a little bit cloudy that day, it's gonna take whatever power it can get from the sun, even though those clouds are in the sky, and use that power to charge this the best way it can. So pretty much it's just gonna help this thing charge up even on cloudy days. All right, let me go over the screen real quick. It has the top numbers here, it will be the input. If my battery was dead, and I would plug in this wall charger to it, it'll tell you how many watts are going in. Or the same thing, if you plug in the solar panels, it will tell you how many watts are going in. So if you're like on a cloudy day, it might only say 100 watts. If you're on a really nice clear day, you may be able to get that close, close to 500 watts. That's why this charges a lot faster with solar. Then if you plug in something to the USB, it will tell you how many watts are going out. Let me turn this on. There, showing three watts going out from my wife's iPad. Now let me take this and I'll go plug in some AC stuff and we'll watch how many watts goes out of the 110 plugs in the back. All right, let's try my freezer. I have my freezer unplugged. Here, I'll show you. These lights are out. I'm going to turn the AC on. Plug it in. There we go. Make sure if you do this, you have your AC on, then plug in your freezer. Don't plug your freezer in. Don't plug your freezer in, then turn the AC on. Make sure this is on first. There we go. 173 watts. And she's running. If this freezer would stay at 173 there, it would kick down to 163. I'm calculating that this freezer should be able to run off this off of completely full battery for right around eight hours. Now if I would plug solar into that, it could go a lot longer. Maybe for days if you had good sun. 
All right, let's go plug something else into this. I'll go get my little heater and try that while it's sitting here. All right, got my heater plugged into the back. That's just the fan. There's heat on low. Five, six hundred watts. 660, 668, 670, so 668, 670, Ooh, there it's going a little higher, Ooh, that's hot, looks like it's about 677, I don't think you're going to run this little heater off of this for too long. electric heater all right let me go try to hook my pellet stove up to this all right here's my pellet stove let me plug my pellet stove into this and see what happens and you can see the fires out it was just on its cool down. And let me go turn up the thermostat so this thing will kick on. kicking on 355 watts I think once you get this pillow stove running and it's got a fire in it and you kick it all the way down to low and you make it so your if I would make it so my igniter is in manual this thing will run right around 300 watts so you could either run your pillow stove on this blue eddy on manual so it doesn't kick on and off and I think it would run longer or I think another way may be a little better is if you would just run this say for like an hour maybe two hours during the day and then let this thing charge back up and then maybe run it for a couple more hours or run it for an hour let it charge for an hour run it for an hour something like that might be might even work better I don't know you'd have to really mess with it getting real sunny out there right now I might even go out there and try to hook a couple of my solar panels up to this just to show you how this charges up with solar panels <clears throat> let this pellet stove kill the battery a little bit I'm gonna fast forward this video a little bit so you can see them lighting up got fire there's no problem this thing will run that pellet stove so like I said I'm gonna try to do maybe a video later on to see how long this pellet stove will run on this 1500 watt hour blue eddy I'm guessing this thing would run maybe five hours four or five hours I don't know put a put a guess down in the comments see what you think this thing will run this Harmon off of or how long this will run this Harman with a completely full battery. Today would have been a good day to do it with sun. I think I'm going to take this outside and plug some solar panels into it just to see what happens. I'm going to plug this little heater into it at the same time that's running. I just want to kill this 
take some of this battery down just to try it with the solar. Let's see what happens. This will really heat my house up. Here we go, see if I kill it. <coughs> 600, 700, 800, 900, uh oh. 1000, Maybe it's gonna run. Maybe not, maybe. Uh oh. It's gonna kick it off. Maybe not. <laughs> That's definitely maxing this thing out. 1,024. 1,030. Uh oh. Oh, there it dropped down below a thousand. Whew. Every time my auger kicks on on that, that's gonna jump up. See? The fans are on. Now we're really pushing it. Come on, drop down. Uh oh. Still hasn't shut off. off. I think I killed the battery enough to take this out and try some solar on it. Alright, I got four of my solar panels hooked up and I'm going to hook them up to this blue eddy and see what happens. I'll show you how I hook these up. It's kind of easier to show you on paper. This is how I have mine hooked up right now. Series parallel. I have these two hooked up in series, these two hooked up in series, and then they come down and they go into splitters. It's real simple, you just, these two I have a positive and a negative hooked up, a positive and negative hooked up for these two, and then I take the positive from this one, comes down, and the positive from this one comes down and they go together. Same thing here, negative comes down, negative comes down, go together into a splitter, then I'm gonna put them on, uh, I th think these cables are 50 foot cables. Um, I'll put them down in the description, and I have a tester, I'll show you my tester, so I knew I didn't have over 60 volts, which I guess you could just guess if you want, and then the thing's gonna shut off, and you gotta try it again, but it's easier just to buy one of these testers for, I don't know, it was like 15, 20 bucks, and I could test it. I'll show you. I got my tester on, it's on the V for volts, and it's on DC for solar panels. And I'll take the positive and negative. And I can pretty much stick these in here either way, it don't matter, but I'll put them in the correct way. If you put them in the wrong way, it's just gonna show a negative value. And this will tell me how many volts I have. I have 41 volts, so I'm definitely not over the 60 volts max. 
with four panels. Now let's hook this up. So I can get this eight millimeter plug. Get into there. She's charging. Let's pick it down here and see what we got here. 341 watts going into here. That's pretty good. I have two more panels, so I'm going to see if I can try to in another video, not today. I think I'm going to try to see if I can hook one more of them panels up to this thing. I definitely don't think it's going to go over the 500 watts. If I can figure out a way to keep the voltage down. Well, that's about it. I hope you learned something about this Blue Eddy. And if you want to check out some of the comments they put, say about this on Amazon, just click on some of the links down below and check for some coupons. I might have coupons down in my down in my description, and there may be some coupons on. Amazon for this same unit. I'll put like I said, I'll put this unit down there and I'll put the the other Blue Eddy down there. It's a little bit bigger than this one if you want to check that one out. And I'll put my links to these solar panels that I bought. So I know you definitely can hook up four and I bought six of them. So I'm going to see if I can try to hook up another a fifth one to this later on. Uh, and I'll throw these everything that I have here in this video I'll throw down there along with this little tester. Well, please leave me a comment. I really love reading all your guys' comments and I'll try to reply to every single comment down there. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. God bless and have a great day. Sit. Come here, sit. There you go, you rolled over. Can you, okay, lay down and roll over. Come on, down, roll over. Good girl, I knew you just knew I was gonna say that, didn't you? Good girl. You're getting there. You're all excited. You wanted to show everybody, huh? Do it again. Do it again. Sit. Sit. Hey, come on. Sit. Piper. Piper. Sit. Come here. Can you crawl? No, you can't. Come here. Come here. Here. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> now you're crawling. Roll over. Good girl. Here. All right. There you go. There's Piper. There's a couple of her tricks. We're still working on her. Right, girl? Look at that dust. Look at that dust.